Hi everyone, my name is Peter Collins and I work alongside Susie as an instructor and staff trainer at Hunter Mountain. You have just watched a clip of Thomas Marnix. Thomas is a former technical advisor to the Ukrainian World Cup team and considered by his peers to be one of the best technical skiers in the world today. I had the good fortune earlier this year to ski, skate and share notes with Thomas. This talk reflects our conversations. And this clip captures for me the essence of my segment this evening, the importance of the mind-body connection, how to unlock it and how to nurture it. So let's start with a question. Why do we need a mind-body connection? What purpose does it serve? What is its value when we find ourselves looking down a black run or maybe a mogul field or even a green slope about to demonstrate wedge turns in an exam? Well, for me, it's all about intentions and outcomes. What outcome or outcomes do I want to achieve? And what is my intention or intentions to achieve them? Using myself as an example, my outcomes are the manifestation of my intentions and the mind-body connection is the conduit that allows my thoughts to be translated into action. Simple as that, really, and I spend as much time as possible training that connection. And the good news is that inline skates offer the perfect opportunity during the off season to practice and refine all three. Intentions, outcomes and our mind-body connection. It is for good reason that many of the best skiers in the world train using inline skates during the summer months. So let's dig a little deeper into the mind-body connection and explore what that means to Thomas Marnix as he makes short radius ski turns on skates. The outcomes Thomas achieves here are pretty obvious. Beautifully rounded turns, quiet upper body, simultaneous release and engagement of edges, or wheels in this case, and flexion and extension appropriate to the turn all times to a perfectly weighted pole swing and touch. In short, Thomas is moving down the hill with the equipment. As Susie observed when she first saw this clip, this cat is flawless and I really couldn't agree more. But what are Thomas's intentions? Does he have any? Or is he relying on some innate athletic ability or mysterious touch? Well, he will tell you that he's very clear on what his intentions are how they relate to the outcomes he wants to achieve and the importance of the mind-body connection in getting those thoughts into action. So let's recall the first two fundamentals. Control the center of mass to the base of support to direct pressure along the length of the ski. And control pressure from ski to ski, directing pressure to the outside ski. Well, those two fundamentals for skiing are equally applicable to skating and primary to the movements you see here. Thomas uses different language for these fundamentals, which is to be expected given he is in a different association, but good turns are good turns and his intentions align closely to our fundamentals. Another critical piece for Thomas is maintaining a dynamic athletic stance, a stance that is never static, but flexes and extends in response to the forces in a turn. He maintains that athletic stance by creating dynamic tension across his body, by visualizing an imaginary line or cord that runs between his shoulder, closest to the inside of the turn, through to his outside foot via his core. He will maintain the integrity of that cross body connection, no matter if he's flexing or extending. In this way, he is able to maintain an athletic stance no matter what the pavement or snow throws at him. Without the mind-body connection, that type of visualization is just a thought, but with it, that visualization becomes action. 
What I would like you to take away from this clip is that the mind-body connection is very important to Thomas. A connection that by necessity is a veritable information superhighway. A highway that can quickly fall into disrepair without constant attention. And that is where I want to go next, training the mind-body connection. So practicing your intentions and connecting them to your desired outcomes is key if you are to maintain the mind-body connection. So what resources do you have available? Well, a great place to start is the Rollerblade Skate Ski Programme. Ideally, you will also attend a PSIA Skate Ski event, a perfect environment with great coaches. Our own Heidi Etlinger of the PSIA national team, in conjunction with Miles Sparrow of Rollerblade, lead these events, and there are a couple of coming up in July at Liberty Mountain. Also, the material Susie has presented during these webinars and developed in her Ice Ski and Ride programme applies equally to skates and will keep you safe. Whichever route you take, please ensure you use protective equipment. Helmet, arm and knee pads and wrist guards at a minimum. Have access to a well paved flat pavement if you are a beginner and train under guidance. So with that, let me leave you with a clip where I get the opportunity to compare my intentions, outcomes and mind-body connections with those of Thomas. Thanks for listening and back to Susie.